I'm still obviously in the early stages and like I said to you last night, I've I've created my ads, um, I've done all the the, the foundations, you know, I, um, I've got, I've, I've done conversions, then I added the Facebook pixel um, and then they didn't work and then I, I, I went through something else with you where there's just another little tiny bit of code that you add under the pixel and then the custom, it was it the custom conversion, the events manager went active. Mm -hmm. So it all, so I, I pieced together and got it out there. And I don't know whether me audiences are not big enough um, or I don't know whether, I don't, I don't know whether it, I'm, a, I'm appealing to the right audience. Mm -hmm. the, the, audience broke, the audience doesn't grow until you start running ads. So, yeah. yeah, you won't be able to, to really target the audiences just yet. Because I think I've heard you say, and I think I've heard you say to some, when you do a strategy call with people, I think I've heard you saying, um, get the pixel going. Yes. Get it working. So I didn't know whether I, I, I just jumped the gun a little bit um, because I've seen results quite soon. And when they stopped and there wasn't any, I, I don't know whether I, I started messing about with them. Then I started changing the audience, started targeting di different, you know, um, types of audience. But I, that was my question to you was, should I have let it embed a bit longer? Yes. And let it work? Yes. That, that's, the, that's the number one thing. So, like, for example, if you, if you run an ad on a video, like, let's say yeah. you run, you run a Facebook ad. Okay. So if, if you run a Facebook ad on a video and you put a good amount of budget towards it and you get thousands of views. And what I mean by a good amount of budget, I, I mean, whatever it's going to take to get a, to get a few thousand. So let me see if I can find a video, whatever it's going to take to get a few thousand views would be, would be considered good. So for example, okay. this one right here, Let's see if this shows the views. So if I click on it, um, it doesn't open it up more. Normally it opens up the video all the way and then I can see the view count, but that doesn't show me the views. Let me see if I can find, see, so you see how this one has 3.6 million views. So, hey there, yeah. So yeah. this right here, that's, that's way, I mean, that's, that's a lot. You don't need that many yeah. at all. But, but if you ran a video ad and let's just say you got 3,600 views, that would be a good audience to retarget. Okay. So if your video doesn't have a few thousand views, it's not really a big enough audience to retarget. Okay. That's, that's the video. And then when it comes to your page, so for example, let's look at this one. If I click on the image, he takes me to a page. On this page, his pixel will be on it. So here's his pixel. So he's tracking us with his Facebook pixel. He has three different pixels. And so everyone who lands here. So this ad, this ad should have been running for, 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 for a while now. And what I mean by okay. a while is let's just say, <clears throat> Let's just say, let's just say a couple weeks, 14 okay. days. Let's say this, this ad has been running for 14 days and let's say he's spending, let's say he's spending $10 a day. Yeah. $10 a day. He's been running it for two weeks now. So he's already put $150. Let's yeah. just say 150 bucks. He's already spent on this ad. So it would be safe to assume that he has quite a bit of people who have landed here so far. Yeah. If he's running the right ad, that, that's another, another, another question. The question is which, which, which objective. So if I click on the green button and I come over here to the objective, the real question is which objective is he running? You know, if, he, yeah. if he's running the right objective, then after a couple of weeks, he should have a, a good amount of people that have landed here. Now, okay. maybe, maybe not a good amount of people who actually click the button and opt in, yeah. but a good amount of people who actually landed here. A good two weeks, a good daily budget, 
you would have a good amount of people that have landed here so far. That yeah. would be a good enough audience to start retargeting. So now when you go run Facebook ad number two, you can retarget all the website visitors. Okay. But if we haven't ran it for that long, or if we haven't put a good amount of budget towards it, our pixel may not have enough data. So okay. it may not have enough website visitors for you to retarget. So okay. it just comes down to, it comes down to running a, a good daily budget and you want to be, I mean, everyone has a different budget, but again, if you're, if you're really, if the way you want to look at your daily budget is you want to look at what you're selling. Yeah. So, so what, what are we selling and what is the profit, not the revenue? What's the actual profit? Like if I was selling a thousand dollar course and, and my profit is pretty much, you know, it's a digital course. Yeah. So if my profit is about a thousand dollars, let's just say a thousand dollars, I should be, I should be spending at least a thousand dollars a month on Facebook ads. Yeah. So that's how you want to look at it. What is the cost of your course? Is it 500 bucks? Is it just a hundred dollars? Like, like actually, you know what? Not per month. I'm saying per day. So, so that's, that's even crazier. Like, like, so if, if I'm, so what I'm saying is if you're selling a course for a thousand dollars, yeah, you should really, really, really be looking at spending a thousand dollars a day. Now you're not going to do that right off the bat, but let's just say 10% of that. So we should really be spending, if we're selling a thousand dollar course, we should yeah. really be spending at least a minimum of $100 a day. If you're not doing nowhere near that, then your pixel is not going to have a lot of data at all to retarget. Okay. And that's to retarget. That's to build the custom audiences. That's to kind of touch on your concern about the audiences. The audiences may not be big enough just yet. Okay. So well, what I'll do then is I'll get it running again. Um, yeah. I was I was putting uh, I was running three with, to different targets because I wanted to see what which, which one worked. Yeah, so, yeah, that's good. The ad the ad sets and targeting different audiences, that's good. You want to do that. You don't want to set up different ads like like you don't want to come in here and and like and set up like one one ad targeting one interest and then i'm going to set up a whole different ad and target a different interest and then set up a whole different ad a third one and 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 target a different interest don't do it that way do it all in one ad yeah that's so, what it is i just have the same ad three running three times okay so, so three ad sets yeah so ad sets uh, yeah but it was yeah. so it was the same ad Mm -hmm. It was a video. It was um, exactly the same, but just add the ad set was different. I Perfect. targeted. Perfect. Perfect. Um, like one was um, uh, about mental health. Another one was people Perfect. in the UK. Um, uh, so just, and then I, th I thought, so whatever works, the winner stays on and I'll keep on running that one ad. Yes. The one that converts. Yes. Good, good. Now, which objective were you, are you running? I've done the conversion, okay. what you said. Perfect. And then you have your thank you page set up as yeah. a custom conversion? Yeah. Perfect. I, don't, I, I just basically sat and watched one of your videos um, night and day. I'm done it step by step. Good. And doing everything that that you said. I mean, my my landing pages aren't great. The design isn't great. The thank you page isn't that great. But I just had to get something done. Um, mm -hmm. I was just sick of talking about the shit and and just needed to get it get something done. So they're not the greatest, but then we start and point. Yeah, good, good. And 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 even if they're not the greatest, the the good thing that's happening is you're 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 getting data to the pixel. Yeah. So, so as long as people are clicking on your ad and they're coming over to your page, just make sure that that pixel is really active and, and you're getting that data because you because that, that's another thing. It's, it's the ad that you'll, you'll, you'll kind of move around, you know, maybe it's a different image that works. So the same way you can split test the ad set. So just like you're doing right now, you have, you have multiple ad sets. Yeah. You can do the same thing with the actual ad. 
Okay. So, 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 so you can, just like you have three ad sets, for example, yeah. you can also do three different ads. Yeah. So, so, so maybe three try three different videos. Different videos. Yeah. Or, or, or maybe try three different images. Yeah. Okay. You know, and then, and then after a few days, look at which one, which ones are not performing and then just shut those off. Yeah. You know, but. When it stays on then, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Think, um, what I did, what I did today because I didn't have the, um, because I'm becoming a bit obsessed with it, with what watching the traffic on, because I know last night when I was going to bed, you said to shut it down, just shut it down, leave it till today. So today what I did was I, I got up and I, I prepped and uh, wrote some scripts for videos, you know, just, and then loaded them into Carter because you, you seem to say a lot that on your thank you page. Yes. Uh, you know, we just want to introduce myself. I, and it, it just stayed in my mind because I'm really frightened of the camera and I don't like putting myself out there. But I think you, you just said to someone, you know, it's a 30 second where you say, hi, uh, you know, my name's yeah. this. Just introduce yourself. So yeah. I've uploaded, I think it was about six videos Good. today, this Good. morning. Good. And, 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 a lot of people, you know, they, they, they have their own reasons for not wanting to put themselves out there. Like I have another friend that I'm helping and, and he wants to build a business on social media and online, but he does not want to put his face out there. He doesn't want to be the face of the, of the brand. And, and, and you can do it that way, but it's just going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be more challenging and it's going to take a little longer and, and you're going to have to run way more ads because yeah. now it's going to take way more convincing because the people, people get don't know to know, you. like, and trust, don't they? Yeah, you're right. They get to know, like, and trust a person. Yes. Um, and also, I mean, for me, I'm talking about, you know, my experiences, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to dig down into my niche of yeah. people who, who are in my, you know, who've, because I've got ADHD, so mm -hmm. I'm, that's me niche. I want to help people because Good. of being in oh, business Ashley, for so God long. God bless you. God bless um, you. And, Good for you. And then I know what it's like when you don't want to show up and when you, and you, you don't want to go to work and, you know, I've bought businesses and gone, what am I going to do now? I don't want it. Yeah. Yeah. I've moved my family to Australia and got them there. And I thought, no, I don't like it. I want to go home. And I've been there hundreds of times before. Mm -hmm, but, mm -hmm that's part of the ADHD. You sort of live on the adrenaline of an excitement. And then once it's over, you, you don't like it. And, and everybody, people who've got, I want to support people and tell them that it's all right to not show up. You know, so my, my ultimate goal is to teach people about passive income who have ADHD. Wow. Um, wow. And place their strengths. If the, you know, because I find a lot of people with, who have ADHD arty, so you know they could sing or they could do um, paintings. So that's that's ideal for going online. I Ashley, you you need to put your face out there. You need to put your yourself out there. People need to see you. People are going to fall in love with you. People need to hear your message. Like, like you, you cannot hide behind that experience. You, you have to, you have to put yourself out there. You know how many people you're going to help? Like, you have no idea. Like, you're giving me the chills. Like, I kind of get the chills thinking about this because whenever I talk to somebody that actually has a real reason, there's so many people online that want to sell a bunch of bullshit. But when you yeah. come and you actually have a strong reason why and you have a, a need and a desire to help people and you have, and, and, and there's a way to monetize that. And, and you're coming from your heart and you're coming from real life experiences like that right there. There's nothing like that. There's nothing like that. So if I can see a person and I see their face, I don't care what they look like. I don't care what they sound like. I don't care about their hair, their makeup, their nails, what they're wearing, how their shirt looks. I don't care about none of that. That's the thing. On social media and on the internet, there's billions of people. You have to understand that when I scroll through Facebook, if I'm looking yeah. at Facebook or if I'm looking at Instagram or if I'm looking at LinkedIn or if I'm looking at Twitter, it does not matter. All of these platforms are the same. As yeah. we scroll through and we see what everyone's posting, 
we are we are we are psychologically we are attracted to people that are just like us like yeah. so when i'm scrolling through like look these people right here could be could could fear the camera they could have the most camera shy more than anybody but i don't know that nor do i care i don't know them i've never seen this before i just keep scrolling and this yeah. person right here could be the most insecure this per these two people could be the type of people where they have not wanted to be on camera for the last 13 years because they're so camera shy and they have all these insecurities but what i'm saying my point is is that i don't know that nor do i care so as i keep because i don't know them it's an ad i just see it for the first time we keep scrolling yeah. so you don't ever have to worry about someone stopping and wanting to tease you because of the way your hair looks when it's like no one gives a damn we yeah. keep scrolling we're just looking for what pops out to us and the yeah. beauty about the internet is that there's billions of people and the and, and and the great part is is to build a business you only need a handful yeah you don't need everyone to like you and even when you start targeting your audience and going after people that actually have that interest it's the same thing. Look, this guy is running an ad to me. He's running an ad because I do probably ads with real estate agents and he knows I'm affiliated with that industry somehow, some way. But yeah. at me, he's targeting me. I see his face right there, but I keep scrolling. I'll probably yeah. never see the post again. Yeah. Nor do I care. So I come across many, many people. I speak to clients every single day. I speak to business owners every single day. 99% of them fear the camera. They don't want to yeah. be on camera. They want to hide behind the camera, but yet they want to put a brand out and they want to try to build something. It's like, no, you can't do that. You got, and especially someone like you that has a strong message, you have to put yourself out there because, because yeah, most people, they'll probably keep scrolling. Yeah. They're not going to get, you're not going to get their attention. Most people, but the percentage, the small percent that I actually do get their attention, those are the people that I'm going to help. And, yeah. and the great part is, is that when you're dealing with the internet and you're dealing with a billion people on it, a fraction, just give me a fraction, Ashley. I don't even give a damn if I get 1%. Give me a fraction. Give me a quarter percent. Give me, a, give me, give me 0 0.1 and I'm going to be a wealthy person. You don't need yeah. everyone. I need less than 1%. If I can get, if I can get less than 1%, so if I put out a hundred videos or actually if I put out a video and a hundred people view it, but Ashley is the one that says, holy shit, I like that guy. Yeah. I'm going to keep watching his videos. 99 people kept scrolling and didn't watch a damn second of my video, but Ashley did. Do you understand if I just have one out of a hundred? If I have one Ashley out of every 100 people who actually watch my video, do you understand how much money that's going to make me? Mm -hmm. So we're over here trying to, uh, trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to get everyone to like us when it doesn't even matter. Most yeah. aren't. I don't need most to like me. I just need 1%. I need less than 1%. And I'm going to be a wealthy person. And I'm going to help a lot of people because 1% of a billion people, you're going to help a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. So forget about the insecurities. Like you need to tell your message. You need to show your face. You need to be on a thank you page. You need to be on the on videos via email. Like you're, you, you need to be on video in that ad. Like that needs to be all you, Ashley. And you need to just keep putting out video. That yeah, the video that me uh, in my ad is me saying um about being diagnosed with ADHD and being powered by, I've set up a page called Powered by ADHD because the ADHD has powered me all my life. Send me Made your me page. Let me look at your page. Let's look at your page real quick. Um, let me see. Send it to me in the chat or can you, are you able to send it oh, to me in the chat? Uh, can, I, can, can I, um. Facebook it to me? Yeah, Facebook it to yeah. me. Because um, here's, here's, a, here's a, the, the good thing. The, 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 good, the good thing out of everything I'm saying is the fact that we don't need everyone to like us, nor is everyone going to like us. But, but also what I want you to understand 
not everyone's going to even judge us. Not even, not it. We're not even going to give people the, the ability to even judge us. Because again, as I scroll through, as I scroll through, I'm just scrolling through. If something doesn't get my attention, I yeah. don't even bother to stop to even yeah. judge it. Right? So, yeah. so as I'm scrolling through, if it doesn't get my attention, I just keep going. So for those that, that want to hide behind a camera and not put their, their real selves out there, you're just hurting your business. You're hurting your true potential. And for someone like you that actually has an important message to share with people, you're, 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 you're killing the ability to help many more because you're just not keeping it real. You're not keeping it real. You're hiding behind a camera and it's not the real Ashley, you know? So, so as yeah. you start to put the real you out, that's the easy part. If I saw you right here on video and you were talking about what you're talking about and I have, and it's an ad, so you're actually targeting me and I actually happen to have that same issue going on or I know family or whatever. And, and, yeah. and, and, and the fact that it's a real video, the fact that it was shot from your cell phone, don't try to make these videos professional. Don't try to script these videos either. Keep them simple. Ashley, pull out your cell phone and just talk for about a minute. That's what I did this morning. You know, just random. Oh, just don't, don't even plan it. Don't even script it. Just whatever the heck is on your heart at that given moment, pull out yeah. your phone and talk about it. And that becomes the ad. And because it's so real and because it's so authentic and because Ashley is actually talking about something, she actually has a message, that's what makes people engage. So yeah. that's the easy part. The fact that it's coming from you and it's coming from your heart and the fact that it's on video and it's, and it's raw and it's authentic, that's the easy part. That's the upfront value. But yeah, when I click on learn more, Let's see. Show me where you're taking me to. When I click on learn more, let's see where we are going. And then, and then again, what's going to really turn around your ads is this page that we're going to look at. So everything is about this landing page. When I click on learn more, where am I going? Like, where am I going? And, and, and is there, is there an offer? Is she giving am me I taking something? you to, um, where do I? Oh yeah. That's it. Okay. So let's look at this really, really quick. Okay, so this is the Facebook page. Yeah. So this is the Facebook page. Here's what you got to do over here. This yeah. 32, this needs to be 3,200. Yeah. That's the first Facebook ad you should run is a like ad. And you need to target worldwide. You target everyone on Facebook that has the interest or fits this category that you're targeting. Okay. It's one keyword. You don't have to run multiple ad sets. It's one ad set. It's targeting worldwide and it's taken this number through the roof now you're going to get okay. people from all over the place that like the page but it doesn't matter it doesn't it doesn't matter at all all you're doing is running that for a few bucks run it for 20 bucks 20 okay. bucks take that up a couple thousand likes that needs to happen first okay so, so any ad that you're running right now i would shut it off i would put that budget towards that like ad when i land here i need to see a big number that's why okay. over here on my page when you come to my business page um, and, and let's just say when I'm running ads and people, they're either going to click on your ad or they're going to click on your business page to see yeah. who you are, right? That's, that happens a lot before they click on your ad, before they go to your web, your landing page. Sometimes they come to your business page to see who the hell you are, right? Before they give up any information. So when they come to my business page and they scroll down and they see 10,000. Yeah. Now you don't necessarily need 10,000, but you need at least a couple thousand because all that is right there is perception. It's credibility, okay. it's social proof. When someone sees a bigger number, automatically they assume that, that, that we must know what we're talking about. Yeah. That's a very different look than 32. Yeah. Right. And, and, and you cannot sit here all day and invite your friends to like the page. No. That's only going to take you to about a hundred. Yeah, you have to run a Facebook like ad. Um, okay. That number needs to be up. That's the first impression. That's the first thing I see when I land here. So, so that right there is super important. Is running that like ad first. Now, where's the actual Karcher page? What page are you taking them to? Okay, so um, here, perfect. Learn more. 
Okay. No, um, I did one. Not that one. Oh no, no, that 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 one. Perfect. I did it Perfect. on this that one that you just because Perfect. I did what you you said about. Um, I, I did the copy, you know, in the ad. Yes. I went through it and said, you know, do you feel ashamed with ADHD and, you know, the challenges? I talked about people's pain points. So good, good, good. I just, obviously, I've, I've followed your structure. Good. Here's here's what I would do. I would I would change this up. Everything on it is fine, but this register below to learn more. That's fine, but we need a headline. We need a headline. That's what we're missing. So you okay. have you have the sub headline. This is a sub headline. This could be a sub headline, and then you have your bullet points, and then you have your lead form. But what you're missing is you're missing a headline. You're missing a okay. headline. And and what I would do here's what I would do if I were you. I would go. Are you familiar with Fiverr? Yeah. I would go to Fiverr. I would spend. I would spend I would spend twenty dollars twenty USD maybe fifteen dollars USD, and I would find a ghostwriter. I will find someone that can write me a few pages on the topic of H of ADHD. Okay. Now you have all kinds of knowledge, but I don't know if you really want to write a book right now. So, or, or I don't even know if you have the time to go write a book right now. Now it doesn't have to be a full book, but here's what I would do. I would reach out to someone on Fiverr. I would look for a ghostwriter and I would message a ghostwriter. I would, first of all, I would look for Like, let's look, let's look real quick. I would look for, there's a few things that I look for. I look for reviews. I look for the reviews. Yeah. Um, and I look for the, I look for the amount of reviews. So if we go to writing and we go to um, book and ebook writing, so right here, I would look for the, the star rating and then I would put in my budget. So I'm, I'm going to put in a budget. I'll just say, I'll just say $10, $10 to let's say, let's say 25, because okay. this right here, this is the most important. That's what you're automatically missing. You're missing that for sure. Like, that like giveaway. Over here, you're missing a giveaway. Now, now, now the book, it doesn't have to be a book. Like I have a 55 page ebook. It doesn't have to be 55 pages. Even if you just had five pages. Yeah. That's good. So, so you can, I'm sure for sure you have enough knowledge to write out five pages of, of ADHD. I'm sure you do, but yeah. it's also worth the 20 bucks to have someone over here, at least start it for me. So yeah. I would come here and I would look for, I will ghostwrite any science. I will ghostwrite children. I will ghostwrite science. I will write, okay, I will ghostwrite story, novel, ebook. I will ghostwrite your fiction story. I would look for someone, I will write a best-selling ebook. Right here, 20 bucks. But what I look for really is I'll look for either 4.9 or five star, but yeah. I, want, I want a lot of reviews. I want a lot, like right here, 160. Yeah. yeah. Right, like that, that right there, could be someone or even even 40 this person five star 40 reviews i'm looking for yeah. someone like that um not not someone that only has one review you know um like i will write a top notch short story look at that five star 63 reviews 15 dollars yeah. i would reach out to that person now i would say first of all i would message them don't buy it first you want to message them first so you come over here and then and then you just contact seller and, 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 and you tell them, you say, hey, my topic is ADHD. And, and, what I, and, and here's my page. Here are my bullet points. I need someone to write me a few pages. What would you charge me? And, and, and at least they'll put together, let's say, for example, for 20 bucks, you get someone to write you three pages. You yeah. get those three pages back and you go ahead and edit from there. So now yeah. you add some more. You add yeah. some images, maybe. Maybe add some images and turn the three pages into seven pages. Yeah. That becomes your free PDF. So now the headline, when I see your ad, I click learn more. I come over here. The headline says, download your free PDF. The top yeah. seven points yeah. 
to talk yeah. about or the so, or the top seven benefits or this or the top seven myths or the top seven misconceptions yeah. on 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 one on 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 ADHD or whatever. Like that yeah. would be the headline. So when I land here, that headline needs to tell me what the heck I'm doing here. Okay. And the, and the, that's just, all. That's what you're missing is the headline. And then and then register below. You know, I I struggled with Carter. I struggled with the design, um, and I couldn't get rid of that because I wanted to move it all up so it was right in front of your eye. But I just couldn't. It was just the design, well, and I just gave up. In the end, I must have spent about two days doing you, it. Use the template. Try not to try not to delete anything from the template. So when you come in here. And you and you click on you know my pages to the left. You click on the green one over here, yeah. And then you click on squeeze pages. Squeeze pages is where you want to be. That's the landing page. So over here, I would just come over here and and pick pick a good squeeze page, like you know this one right here could be a cool one. Or or even here's what you're gonna want to do. Here's what you're gonna want to do. You're gonna want to you're gonna want to reach out to Fiverr, have someone put together a few pages. And then also reach out to Fiverr and it'd be worth it to spend another 10 bucks and get the graphics and design done of the ebook. So, okay. so, so if I come to graphic and design and if I go to right here, book design, so here's yeah. book design. There's even, there's even ebook design, but let me, let me show you the one that I, the one that I used actually, let me, um, let me go to my orders. I did uh, this one right here. Here's one of my previous orders. And then I'll show you what mine actually looks like. So this guy right here, um, he put together just this design. Now I paid 20 bucks and he gave me a bunch of different designs. But here are some examples. This book right here to the left. So if you spent 10 bucks and had someone do that. So now you have your ebook back from the, from the writer and you spend some time and add a few more pages to it. And, and adding a few more pages is not necessarily text. You can just add images, add some images yeah. to the pages, right? And, and make it look yeah. pretty, make it, make, update it, make it look good. Because the, the, the ghostwriter, all they're going to do is write text. They're not going to make it look pretty. So write, yeah. let them write out three pages of text. And then when you get that document back, add some images, um, <clears throat> write out some more paragraphs because you know so much stuff. So write out some stuff as well. And again, turn your three pages into six, turn it into seven, and then, and then reach out to someone on Fiverr and have them do a design like this. So, so here's, my, here's my landing page. <clears throat> Let me show you um, my landing page. So as someone comes to my page, this is all from Fiverr. Well, at least the images. <clears throat> so when you, come, <clears throat> when you come to my page, attention real estate agents, free book reveals the top five steps to implement on social media to capture more leads and build your personal brand fast. It's the headline. I'm telling them free book. Free book reveals the top five steps, right? That's something catchy that someone is like, okay, shit, maybe I should download it. It's free. It's talking about the, the he's revealing five steps, you know, to capture leads. So, so your headline needs to be something like that pertaining to ADHD. You know, and, and find out the top secrets on beating ADHD and what I had to, and what I, what I learned by, by, by experiencing it myself. Yeah. Download your free copy now. And then, and then look, you got the bullet points. So rather than the dots, like you have, you have those dots, right? It, yeah. you, you have, you have, let's go back to it. You have these dots right here. So rather yeah. than the dots, you know, maybe, maybe get a different type of icon. Look, I have the check marks. Yeah. You know, so, so just like your page, here's my sub headline, just like you have. Yeah. And then there's my, my, my check marks, my bullet points. And then there is send me the book now. Okay. And then, and then here is the image. Yeah. So that image, you know, it cost me 20 bucks because I had a bunch of different images the guy did for me, but you can get some, just that right there, $10, $5, you yeah. know? And so when they come here, send me the book now. Yeah. That's where the magic happens that's what you're missing you're missing that free offer you're missing yeah. that catchy headline this is perfect not feeling like a failure make money from a passion succeed in life not feel any shame that that's that's fine and then and then instead of having the form 
instead of having the form showing, look, all I have is a button. I have a button. So nice. I, would, I would just put a button, send me the book now, and then boom, right when they click the button, then it goes over, then the form opens up. But don't show me the form right now. Okay. You know, show me the button, download your free book now. That, and, and yes, tell me how. That, that, is, that is good. That's catchy. I like that. But, but now we're changing it up a little bit. Now we're going to change it. Now we're going to give them something. We're going to give them a PDF. We're going to give them the okay. free offer. So the button should say, download your free book now or download, okay. download your, your free offer now. Something that, that makes me want to jump. Something that makes me want to just, and yes, tell me how that, that is catchy. I like that. But, 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 but since we're going to give away an offer, click here to download your free PDF. Click here to download the top seven myths. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so that, and, and again, go back, going back to Kartra, the template is already there. So, so okay. I would pick, I would pick one of these templates and just, and, and not try to change much. Look, if I look at this one. So, so over here, headline, your bullet points, there's your yeah. form over there. It doesn't have the button, but it's, it is the full blown form, but even the blue button save my spot. That's fine. Name, email, and then there's the box they have to check. And then the blue button would say, click here to download now. Yeah. You know, something so you more. Have three, four, you have three pages then, don't you? You have the landing page, the form, and then the thank you. No, it's just the landing page, the, the thank you page, and then the form. So it's only two pages and a form. Okay. Yeah, it's See, two I thought pages. The form has to be embedded. Yeah, the form needs to. So here's, here's what you want to write down. Whenever you come in to Kartra yeah. and you're getting ready to create a whole new funnel or a whole new page, there's three main things that need to happen first, especially when yeah. it comes to a landing page inside of Kartra. And it's, it's in this order. You want to come okay. in and you want to create the landing page. So that would be the squeeze page. If I come over here, click the, blue, the green button, it's the squeeze page. Okay. That's number one. Number two, I'm going to come over here, my pages, click on, click on the green one, and then I'm going to go to thank you page. That's number two. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to create the thank you page. That's number two. And then number three, I'm going to go create the form for the landing yeah. page in that order. Squeeze page, landing page, and then the form. Okay, because as you set up the form, as you come up here and set up the form and you just go through the setup process, in the form, it's gonna ask for the success page. So okay. the success page is your thank you page. Okay. So you wanna have that up and going first before you do the form. So over here, look, it's asking for the success page. Yeah. So that success page, that's going to be my thank you page. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's what's gonna allow me to complete the form. Now, once I complete the form and everything is set up and the form is good to go, then I'm gonna come over here to my pages and I'm gonna go back to the landing page and yeah. I'm going to add that form. Okay, so now I get to go back to the landing page and add the form. And even if, if everything is not, 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 not um, 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 completed, you don't have to, you know, complete the page. I'm not saying complete it, like come in here, put the headline, make sure the color is right. No, that's going to take you some time to do all the editing and words and the paragraph. That's going to take time. Just set it up. So just, just get the, the damn thing up. The squeeze page first, the landing page, the thank you page second, and then the form. And then you, okay. can, and then you can connect it all. So now I'm coming back to the, thing, to the landing page. So now as I come back to the landing page, now it's going to allow me to simply, if, if, if it's just the button that I'm working with, then yeah. I'll hover over the button and I'll add that form. So if I just hover over the button and I click on the pencil. Yeah. There goes the pencil right there. Now I can simply come over here to the left and I can add the form. So if I click on link, this is, this is going to, I'm going with a pop-up form. So this is a pop-up form. So once okay. I find the pop-up form that I want, then I hover over the form section yeah. and say edit here to configure. 
then I can add that form. So if I click right here, then I can come over here and hit the drop down and find that form that I just okay. created. Okay. And then I can, I can change the word, you know, on the button access tree yeah. now, click here to download now. Yeah. So that would, especially when you're running ads to a cold market, cause that's what you, that's what we all start with. We all start with running ads to a cold market in the beginning to, yeah. to build the custom audiences and to get the yeah. pixel data. When you're running ads in the beginning to a cold audience, you for sure, for sure want to give away something for free. Okay. And, 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 and giving people a, 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 let's say for example, a strategy call. That's not exactly, yeah. that's not exactly what people, that's not exactly a good, a good offer. Like that's not a good offer. Like I don't think that's a good offer in the very beginning because no one knows okay. you yet. No one knows you yet. So unless, yeah. in, unless I keep watching and that's the thing about, about ads. That's why this right here, it's so, so important to keep running Facebook video ads because even though a lot of people may not be clicking and coming over here just yet, what you're doing is building audiences of everyone who's watching. So in this case, if it's a, if it's a, if it's a one minute video, one minute, 33 second video, you want to start creating audiences of those who watch at least at least if you're doing minute and a half video, you want, let's see, let's do the math. What's the math on what is, what's, let's say, let's say for example, we do one minute. Yeah. 33 second times 25 or yeah, let's go, let's go one minute, 33 times 25%. What is that? That is 33 seconds. So, so you want to create audiences. If you're dropping one minute and 30 second videos, you okay. want to start creating custom audiences of those who watch 25% of it because 25. for someone to sit here and watch 30 seconds of your video, there is some interest there. Now they may not have clicked learn more. They may not have came over here and downloaded your free offer, but they sat here and watched it. And that's why it's so important when you're running the next video ad to retarget them. Okay. So, so your Facebook pixel, maybe a lot of people are not clicking learn more just yet in the very beginning, but at yeah. least I'm able to create audiences of those who, who are watching my videos. And if yeah. I keep seeing your video, I sit here for 30 seconds and then next week I see another ad from Ashley. She's targeting me again. And then, and then I end up watching that one again. Yes. I haven't clicked learn more. Yes. I haven't downloaded her offer, but I keep watching her stuff. The third week comes around and then boom, I see another ad from Ashley. It's another video. So I'm sitting there and before you know it, I'm watching 50 seconds of it. That alone is powerful. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. They, they haven't clicked learn more, but they are becoming indoctrinated. They are starting to like you. They are starting yeah. to trust you. They are starting yeah. to see you over and over and over in their news feed. Yeah. And before you know it, that, that audience is going to grow bigger. And before you know it, people are going to start clicking learn more. Yeah. Okay. So, so in the very beginning, you know what? Here's what, here's what I would do if I were you. Here, here, here's the very first video ad. How many, how many of these ads have you ran so far? Just, just the three. Okay, so you've already ran three different video ads? No, just the one video. Okay, just the one video. Here's what yeah. I would do. Here's what I would do. Over here, again, what's missing in the text, what's missing in the text is a free offer, right? That's, okay. what's, missing, that's what's missing in the text. So there's no, there's no call to action in the text, right? Let's have a chat. No one's going to have a chat with you right now because no one knows you yet. It's the first video. It's the first ad. So that's why I'm saying I don't think a phone call is, is, is the most, most effective in the very beginning because no one knows you yet. So, okay. so who's going to really give up their phone number or who's going to really want to talk to you right now when they don't really know you yet, right? Okay. So, so, so in the first video – for sure, there has to be down here. So instead of, instead of, so let's have a chat. I would write, click learn more to download your free off, to download your free ebook or click learn more to find out the top seven tips or click learn more to download my free seven page ebook that talks about ADHD and how you can overcome it and make passive income. Click learn more yeah. to download your free PDF or something like that. 
That's what's missing in the text. And that's what's also missing in the video. So at the end of your videos, here's what you want to do. At the end of your video, from this point on, every single video that you make from this point on, especially if it's going to be for an ad, at the end, at the very last, let's just say 10 seconds, not only did you write, learn, click learn more to download, but you're also going to say that in the video. Okay. So at the end of the video, what I would say is I would say, hey, guys, and by the way, click learn more. It will take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free PDF. In this PDF, I talk about the top seven ways to overcome ADHD and how you can use that to your advantage to make passive income. income. Download your free PDF today. Click okay. learn more. I'll see you on the next page. So now we have a call to action in the text. Now we have a call to action verbally in the video. Okay. And then when we click learn more, I come here and I see a big headline. And that headline is catching my attention. And, it, and, and, and all it's about, it's not about Ashley right now. It's all about me because that's the thing about, about people is that it's not, it's not a bad thing. It's just the way, we, it's the way we're programmed. It's, it's a human nature thing. We care about us. Like Ashley, as much as you care about other people, as much as you want to say you want to help other people, yes, on yeah. the outside, that's the real, the real us. We want to help people. But internally, we care about us. So when yeah. I see an ad, I'm not thinking about you. I'm thinking about what's in it for me. Yeah. Right. So right here, as I see your ad, okay, great. You got my attention with what you're talking about. But the moment I click on learn more and I come over here, okay, what's in it for me? What is she giving me? So it has to be that free offer. It has to be a free download. It has to have something of value. And, 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 and once they download that ebook, now it's your email automation that takes over. Yeah. Now what you're going to do. So here's, here, here's the last thing I got for you. When someone downloads your ebook and they start to receive emails from you. Yeah. Those emails need to be video. Okay. And, and what you're going to do in these videos is you're going to talk about the PDF. So for okay. example, if I download your PDF today, and let's say it's seven pages, and let's just say it's about seven ways to overcome ADHD and make a passive income, yeah. leveraging your experiences. Yeah. Imagine that was the book. Imagine that was the topic. Imagine in the book, you're talking about seven ways. Those are seven emails, and those are seven videos. So if I oh. download your ebook today, tomorrow I'm going to get an email from Ashley. And when I click on that email and I read what she has in that email, that email is talking about step one. There's seven okay. ways. There's seven ways. That yeah. email is talking about step one. And in that email, I'm going to say, hey, hey, Dave. And by the way, I just recorded a video talking about step one. So click here and you can watch it now. So as they read the email, they click and that's when you would send them to another Karcher page where it's you on video. And in that short video, that could be a 30 second video. It doesn't have to be long at all, but this is email number two. They download the book. They get an email right away with the PDF to download it. But tomorrow, this is the email that they're getting. So the email tomorrow is about step one. And that's a video of Ashley. That's the, the real you talking about your experience dealing with step one. And whatever your call to action is, if there's a call to action to get them to click, if there's a call to action to get them to buy a product, if there's a call to action to get them to schedule a call with you, that's that blue button below. So at the end of that video, you're talking about step one. And step one is in the book. So all you're doing in these emails is you're breaking down the steps in the book.
Those are your emails, but you're going to also okay. do it in video form. And you're going to okay. also give your experience with that step. Yeah. And so again, whatever your call to action is, if your call to action is to get them to schedule a call with you, that's what you would say at the end of the video. Hey guys. And by the way, if you, if you like to, if, if you'd like to schedule a call and if you'd like to really learn more about how I overcame my ADHD and, and how I turned it into a legitimate business and how I'm yeah. making passive income now, click the button below. It will take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. And by the way, be sure you look out for email number two coming tomorrow because we're going to talk yeah. about step two and I can't wait. I'll see you guys there. And then, yeah. and then step two email comes out tomorrow and now you're on video for 30 seconds, 60 seconds talking about step two. And again, whatever the call to action is, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar or click the button below to take a look at this product that I came across and I keep talking about it. I'm fired up about this product and you guys need to take a look at it as well. Click the button. It'll take you straight there and you can take a look at, at, at the product as well. But that, that alone would change everything. So, okay. so, so I know that was a lot of information right there, right? That, that, that was a lot of information right there, but, um, but hopefully, hopefully it made sense. It does. I can visualize it. Um, it's, it, you know, I've, I've written stuff down. Um, and I, I think that the biggest thing that I'm frightened of is, is the car trip and setting it up. You know, the, have yeah, you already been billed? Have you already been billed for Kartra? Want me to sign up again? Okay. So, so as I'm telling you with the, with the landing page, that's one thing, right? The landing page, making sure that yeah. that landing page is, is, is really solid. And then the thank you page and then the form, but then also what I'm trying to tell you via email, the fact that your video should be in the email that yeah. we have to create more pages. And that's, that's, that's what's going to take more time as well. So like, for example, with my book, when a person goes and downloads my book, okay, so they go to the landing page, which, which is what I showed you, right? That's yeah. the landing page. And then they end and then, and then my thank you page, they end up downloading the book and then they end up going to the thank you page. The thank you page is me on video. Yeah. So the thank you page is me on video going over, you know, what to do next. And so after that, there's a page, there's pages that I'm telling you that go out via email. So, so, so day one, day number one, they're going to get, they're going to get a link. They'll get an email to download the book right away. But the following yeah. day, like I'm telling you, the following day, they're getting another email and this is part of the email. So yes, I write out the email, but the whole purpose of that email is to get them to click to watch my video. So, so when they click, they come to this page. This is a Kartra page. My Facebook pixel is tracking everyone who lands on this page. So that's super important. So now this is a person that has already downloaded my book. This is a person that's now receiving my emails. And what am yeah. I doing in this simple uh, uh, video? I am simply explaining step one in the book, but it's me on video. Yeah. So here, here it is. And, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you to go just maybe 60 seconds or maybe 30 seconds. I go 20 minutes. So, so, so that's getting people really indoctrinated. People are, 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 are thinking, holy crap, this guy, David really knows what the hell he's talking about. He's now spending 20 minutes explaining what the hell step one is about in the book. Who does that? Right. So, so that's why it may be a short video for you, but you may end up talking longer and that's fine. But the fact yeah. is that it's a video. It's a video. See, so there's nothing fancy about this. It's me on screen share. I'm, I'm, I'm now visually showing them step one and I'm talking about it. And at the end of that video, I'm saying, hey, make sure you look for step two because that's coming next. 
Yeah. And so all I'm doing, this is, in, this is in my emails. I'm just breaking down that book. I'm breaking down that book. And, and, and that's what's going on. And then, and then also I'm getting them to schedule a call. So as, I, as my emails proceed and as I go to the next, they get the next email. So here's where I now start asking for the appointment. Because in my business, I'm trying to get people to schedule a call. So the first email, there's not really a heart, a, a heart, a, a, an aggressive call to action, but for every email after, there is a call to action. And this page, it'll open up after a minute. So after a minute, you'll see the bottom, it'll open up, and then there's a button to click to schedule the call. So it, it's not showing it right now because I have it timed. The page is timed. You have to be on the page for at least three minutes, meaning you have to watch yeah. the video, and then the bottom opens up where there's a button to schedule a call. I don't want to show them the button right the moment they land here. I want them to watch the video, get some value out of it, and then boom, the bottom of the page opens up, and there's a, the button to schedule a call. And I talk yeah. about that in the video. So now I'm talking about step two in the book. Yeah. And this is 13 minutes. You see, you see how it's me. It's me. Like it's, it's yeah. me. The fact that that's Ashley, that's the game changer. So, so not only did I see you up front in the video ad, but I also saw you on the thank you page. And now I'm also seeing you again in my emails. Yeah. Okay. That's powerful, Ashley. Like, and all you're doing is educating me. All you're doing is giving me your experience. All you're doing is, yeah. is going over ways to help me overcome my ADHD. ADHD. Yeah. You're giving me value. You're not pitching me. You're giving me value, value, value. But then in the emails, again, in the email, whatever your call to action is, if you have a product to sell, okay, in this email, in the video, bring it up. Hey, guys, and by the way, I came across this amazing product that you guys have to take a look at. If you click the button below, it'll take you straight to your page, straight to the page where you can read everything about it and, and order your, order your free, your, order your, 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 your product now or whatever, maybe whatever you're trying to do, you know, but, but it's the yeah. back end. It's the back end. The back end is where you're making the sell. The front end is where you're, where you're educating me and, and, and where you're giving me something of value for free. And that's your ebook. The okay. back end is where you're selling me. Okay. Okay. I so, understand that fully. Yes. So, so. And, you know, it's, it's, it is taking a long time because tech is not my forte. <laughs> um, yeah. I'll as I say, you your, it your videos, your, it's been your videos that have got me through. Oh, thank got, you, actually. Your Good. videos got me to actually, well, you know, to put publishing, posting, and and getting subscribers, you know. Awesome, awesome. You're, are you building a YouTube channel? I've got a, I've got a YouTube channel because what I did was I bought a, um, another one of my impulsive things. I bought a nail bar off eBay, mm -hmm. um, and I transformed it into um, an international laser skin clinic. Wow! And uh, a franchise here. I have three clinics of my own here in the UK, I franchised in the UK, I franchised in America. I used to go out and sell out, sell, I sell gold to the Arabs basically because I've got a gold skincare range. And um, I opened up in Sydney. I, I took my business to Sydney as well. Mm -hmm. So um, so tech is not really, you know, yeah. my, my bag sort of thing. <clears throat> But I've I've got a very varied past because because of the ADHD. Mm -hmm. So, but now, you know, I look after my parents. They've both got dementia. So, passive is the way I need to do it, and this is the way I can help people. Good. I can help them understand understand and believe in themselves because I've been there. I know what it's like. Yes. That you you have you have a very 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 big opportunity, Ashley to help a lot of people and to really help yourself. You know, you, you have a great product, you have a great niche, you have a great experience, you know, and those are the, those are the magic products in my opinion, the, the products that people roll out that actually have an experience. That's what led me to my niche 
helping real estate agents because I came from that niche. It's always best with, yeah, I I was a a banker. I was a lender. I was a mortgage loan originator for six years. Um, And then after that six year period, I went straight to consulting real estate agents on social media marketing, but it, it allowed me to talk to them the way that they talk. It allowed me to know the, know the verbiage and, and yeah. just know the terminology and the process and the process. Like when you can yeah. talk about that type of stuff to your client or your customer, because you've experienced it and you're talking their language, that gives you a huge advantage. That's why I've been successful with what I'm doing. Cause I, I came from it. So when you can leverage your experience and, and now go help people with it, that's magical. That's very, 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 very powerful. So, but, and, and I tell people all the time, it's, it's Facebook ads and Kartra. Those are the only two things we need to be worrying about right now. That's it. Like there's nothing else. Like there is nothing else. We can build a huge, huge business with those two platforms alone. Facebook ads, Kartra. That's it. So people so, are killing it on them. What's that? Absolutely killing it. Yeah. 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 I've been on Kartra for now two years now and, and it's a never, it's, it's, it's a never ending type of learning process but but i think i learned this two years ago like it was i had a hire someone in the very beginning like when i got on yeah. i hired someone um and thank god it wasn't expensive because the guy he was in another country but he was really smart yeah. on kartra and so i hired him for a few hours i probably spent maybe a couple hundred bucks um to, to for him to really guide me through everything and and yeah. um and and the reason why he charged me is because i didn't sign up with his affiliate link had I signed up with his affiliate link, he probably wouldn't have charged me. But now that I think about it, I don't even care because what I learned, it changed everything because I never needed to hire someone again. Because I, and that's what I think about you. Once I teach you the right way, like you're not going to need me. Like you'll need me for a few calls. But after that, I'm, I'm always going to be available because you're, you're, you're going to be on my affiliate link. So it's in my best interest to make sure you're successful for the next 15 years on this damn thing. But after a few calls, I don't. I don't think you're going to need me because I'm going to teach you everything. And once you learn it, if, if you've built offline businesses, this stuff's going to be easy once you really learn it. Yeah. So it is a learning curve. Yeah. It's a, it's a learning curve just in the very beginning, but, but, um, but you'll learn, you know, so if I can help it? you piece it all together, that that's my satisfaction. That's what I need help with piecing it all together because I, as I say, it's new to me and I don't, I've never pieced it all together before. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So, um, let me know. I've got and, one and, more and, question. And what, yeah, go ahead. It was about the emails. You know, I heard you saying to some guy the other day, you don't use a Gmail email. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you, is it in the gateway? No, it's not in the, it's not the gateway. Like, well, actually it's, it's my integrations. What you have to do is when you come into Kartra and you yeah. click on my integrations, you come over here and you see Kartra Mail. Yeah. You click on the three dots and you click on yeah. edit. This right here, the gateway, that remains your name. Um, yeah. But the send from and the reply, this cannot be a Gmail. This has to okay. be a business email. Like, so mine's the Luxie group. So it'll be Ashley.Cahill at the Luxie group. Perfect. But will people see that? Yes, people will see that. Now, okay, if I mean, you don't... If you don't want them to see it, then you would you would get a different email. So, okay. so so if you're creating a whole new business, maybe go and get the dot com for that business, and then How use that, that email. Sorry, um, my question is like, so you've got David at your business name. Yes. So how do I how do I get like Ashley Cahill at Ashley Cahill Coaching? You have to get the dot com first. Okay. So here's another way you can get the dot com. You come back to you come back to to your Google Chrome and you click on the three dots and you go back into new incognito window. Yeah. And you're gonna go to Google. So go to Google.com and you're yeah. gonna search it from right here in the middle. Okay. Make sure you yeah. search it from here. You're gonna type in cheap domains. And you're going to look for the GoDaddy at the top that says 99 cents. So if I were you, I would just go get AshleyCahillCoaching.com and get it for a dollar for the first year. And then you, you turn that into your email. Okay. 
Well, I've, I own ashleycahill.co.uk. That could be your email then. I already own that. Okay, I'll look at that. Yeah, so reach out. Whoever you bought it from, whatever, whatever domain provider you purchased it from, reach out to them. And, and, okay. just, and, and all you want, you don't want a new email provider. All you want, and this is why it's very important to maybe give them a call. Give them a call or send them an email because you have to be very, very clear. All you need is email forwarding. Okay. So, so when someone emails you, it can forward to your Gmail. Okay. Got it. So you, you just need email forwarding. Don't let them sell you their email system. Yeah. Okay. Cause that's all I have. So if you come to my and you email me, yeah, that's my business email, but it's simply forwarding to my Gmail. Okay. But inside of Kartra, not only does it look professional to the general public, but inside of Kartra, you need a business email. You cannot set up a G you cannot put your Gmail in here. Okay. Okay. So, so okay. yeah, that's, that's the most important. That's the most important is making sure you have a business email. Okay. Sound. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, that's great. Click on the link, click on the link profit with cartridge online, set that up. And then, and then, and then once you do send me an email, cause you have my okay. email. So, um, or, or message me on Facebook and, okay. then, and then, and then we'll set up, we'll set up as many calls as we need to, to, to launch, to launch your page. Oh, great. Yes. Thanks very much. Yes. You're so, so welcome, Ashley. I'm excited to help you. So let's get it started. Oh, okay. You. Yeah. Thanks. See you You're soon. You're so, so welcome. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.